Welcome back. Our next stop is a Habersham food lover's haven. Since its debut in downtown Clarksville in 2007, the Copper Pot restaurant prides itself on preparing creative dishes using only the freshest and best ingredients. In addition, they have weekly events, themed dinner specials, an extensive and eclectic bar menu, including their own house beer. Let's go talk to chef and owner Jeff Morris to get the inside story on the Copper Pot. Okay, we're here at the Copper Pot with owner and chef Jeff Morris. Thanks for letting us be part of the show. Oh, thanks for coming. Absolutely. I'm glad to do it. And you guys have been here since 2007. Yes, November so. of 07. So congratulations <laughs> on 12 years. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell us the, the, the story behind the name of the restaurant, the Copper Pot. Okay, so as a child, I was um, slightly obsessed with the movie The Goonies. And Chester Copperpot is a yep. character yep. in there. And uh, when we were trying to come up with restaurant names, uh, we had a big long list. And uh, for whatever reason, I just kept going back to that. Yeah. It had just like a warm childhood comfort feeling to it. And uh, so we decided to go with that. And then throughout the years, as menus have changed and developed and whatnot, I'll try to hide little references yeah. from the movie into the menu. That's also. I was going to say, a lot of your menu items are names from the movies. Yes. So, any, so if you know what you're looking for. Yes, and if you're a Goonies fan, <laughs> then you definitely want to come here and try to pick up on those little subliminal yes. little hints throughout the menu. So mm -hmm. what got you interested into food? Um, it, to be honest with you, it's something that never really started or ended. It's mm -hmm. something that's always, I felt, has just been with me. Um, both parents, both sets of grandparents um, were avid home cooks. I grew up on a, on a small farm uh, with a large garden. Mm -hmm. uh, we always, you know, were doing, you know, stuff in the kitchen. Uh, my grandmother would come and visit um, on my mother's side, on the Italian side. And I can remember, you know, when as soon as I can look over the counter, making pasta dough, making pizza dough, doing the red sauce. And then on my dad's side of the family, it's Southern. Mm -hmm. And so I can remember going there to Tennessee and just the pies and the cakes and yeah. the desserts and the jams and the preserves. It was just something that's always been part of my life mm -hmm. and something that I feel that I had kind of a natural knack for yeah. doing. And uh, as I got older, I just kind of stuck with that. And uh, pretty much all the jobs I've ever had, uh, you know, from middle school, high school, into college were in the service industry. Yeah. And uh, I have a degree from human uh, from Georgia State in human resources, which kind of is applicable yeah. to uh, management of sure. the restaurant. But I just yeah, I just I did the college thing, and then I just could not fathom being in an office doing the nine to five thing. Yeah, it's just not my energy, right. and not kind of you know I would I would drive myself crazy doing that. And I had had the background with it, and. Um, Got a little serious with it uh, when I graduated from Georgia State in the Atlanta area, and then kind of came to a little bit of a crossroads. I was involved with a restaurant there that was sold, mm -hmm. and it's like, okay, 26 years old, um, I need to choose a path, the yeah. direction I want to go. I was a little timid and a little shy and a little unex unexperienced to mm -hmm. do something in Atlanta, um, but I knew that Clarksville was a good area. Uh, it was up and coming, mm -hmm. and that there, I felt there was a need um, for a restaurant that just did good, honest, scratch food, yeah. you know, nothing crazy, approachable. And like you said, I mean, geez, that's been almost 12 years yeah. ago. <laughs> and so, but, but the Copper Pot is a brick of an eatery, but you guys yes. do way more than just your pizzas. Correct. So that was another part of the name, naming of the restaurant, is because I knew I wanted to do brick oven pizza, mm -hmm. but I also knew I wanted to go outside of that. So I wanted to be approachable um, by, you know, families of four, but I also wanted to, you know, to reach, you know, the, the suits of the world as yeah. well. So what we do is um, we do brick oven pizza mm -hmm. and then, but on the weekends, we do themed dinner specials yeah. that are much more entree driven, much more creative, uh, gives myself and my staff the opportunity, you know, to kind of think outside of the box yeah. and to offer something each week to where you can come in and you can experience something different. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and, and as a, being a customer for almost all of the 12 Correct. years, <laughs> um, I can say that one of the unique things that, that I love about it, and I think a lot of other people too, is everything is so fresh and it's all local. You, lo you use your own local foods, and you mentioned growing up on a farm and having yes. that. Yes, so we still do that. My father and I still do some gardening and mm -hmm. farming uh, during the season, which we're gearing up for soon yeah. uh, a lot of stuff is is planted or will be planted soon 
um, I'll use those items for the weekend specials as much as I can. Yeah. Um, we also will go, instead of using food service providers, mm -hmm. which will deliver the food to you, we go to a location in Buford where you can actually, you put your hands on everything, you put your eyes on everything. Um, so for me, it's, it's, you know, it's a little extra work. You got to make the drive. You got to dedicate yourself to doing that. But I can pick out everything myself. Yeah. So every, I can be guaranteed that the produce is fresh, yeah. that the meat's good, that the dairy's nice. And then it also gives me an opportunity where I can visually put my eyes on things. And then that helps me with creating, you know, off the menu specials. Yeah. Because uh, I submerse myself in that rather than looking online or flipping through a catalog. It's just not the same yeah. e experience. And now your menu and the, the handcrafted part of it goes beyond just the food items. Yes. You guys are also known for your extensive an eclectic bar mix, the mm -hmm. handcrafted cocktails there, and then also your new um, development as a yes. as a brew pub. So let's talk about All that. All right, so a little over a year ago, we officially became a legal brew pub, mm -hmm. which was quite a process. Yeah. <laughs> um, it took a little over a year of um, development and a lot of legal help mm -hmm. uh, to get that done. Um, I partnered up uh, with a local gentleman, uh, Greg Singer, mm -hmm. who's been home brewing for years and years and is really, really good at it. And um, so him and I do that together. And then I have um, one of my managers, um, Bailey, who's been with me at the restaurant for a really long time, mm -hmm. um, does an excellent job with creating uh, craft cocktails. We do a lot of our own infusions. Yeah. We'll do our own shrubs. Um, and then we kind of, you know, try to create take a spin on some classic mm -hmm. items, but you know, always put that little twist on there. Yeah. And that's how I try to approach the food too. You know, I want to be able to have things that people recognize and mm -hmm. know, but then, you know, just put that one little extra something to it that kind of separates it from, from the others. And so she's done an excellent job with that, with the cocktails mm -hmm. and then Greg, uh, with brewing the beer. And, um, you know, we've been able to put together, um, what I feel is a really nice team, yeah. um, in a small community that, um, you know, that you would, you know, you don't get to see very often in, in small town, uh, USA. And there's such a trend right now, I think among food, uh, people traveling and people, you know, visiting and as you know, Habersham County is becoming more of a tourist destination mm -hmm. or as we're promoting it as such. Um, it's really great to have places like yours that devote so much of your time to, to keeping things local and fresh and having that twist and having that personal <coughs> touch. And I think that's what has made this business such a success. And you're, and we are lucky to be in the just the, the northeast Georgia area and the bottom parts of the Carolinas and all of that. It, it's it's an awesome area that, fortunately and unfortunately, people are discovering. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of the foothill areas of the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah. Um, and there are there's a lot of good farms around here. Um, there's a lot of good um, local produce uh, suppliers around here. We. Um, this is an area where, where those things people have been doing for generations and generations. Yep. Uh, so it's a little more commonplace for mm -hmm. us here. It's not as uh, far of a stretch in a large city for you know people to be you know, pulling from other purveyors that are producing things locally. That's yeah. just kind of been part of the, the culture and the atmosphere in this area for, yeah. for a very long time. And uh, it's nice to bring that from the house, from the residential setting, and a little bit more into the, to the restaurant right. setting. So tell us a little bit more about your weekly events that you guys are known for. Yeah, absolutely. So we call that our weekly happenings. Mm -hmm. um, and what the, and that's something that kind of developed over time. It's not something that we have always done. And um, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to have something offered every day that we were open so that you can come and have just a little bit different of an experience or some sort of like a nice, like a, like a price cut, a discount yeah. on food uh, so that, you know, there's, some crazy people out there that have a lot of kids yeah. <laughs> and uh, you want to be able to take them out and have a nice meal but right. not cost an arm and a leg. Not break the bank, yeah. So on Tuesday nights we do a half price pizza mm -hmm. special. Uh, on Wednesday nights we do a trivia yep. uh, night which we've been doing for a while but in the last two or three years seems to have really taken off and yeah. it's a really fun, really busy night for us. Uh, Thursday we do an open mic night which is typically music but we've had some poetry, we had um, some Piedmont College students come and I forget exactly what it's called, but where they just kind of surprise you. Yeah, and they the do flash a mob. Yes, they flash mobbed yeah. us. Um, we had, um, you know, some younger kids do some karaoke kind of stuff, but it's typically usually music. Yeah. And then we offer like a family um, discounted pizza deal that night as well. 
and then Friday and Saturday is when we do the uh, the weekly specials, yeah. and it's a theme. So it mm -hmm. can, I mean, I've done everything from sushi yeah. to Julia Child recipes, <laughs> from using everything locally sourced to, I mean, you name it. And then on Sunday, we do a brunch uh, from 11 to 3, and then that whole entire day are all of our pizzas, personal pizzas, large pizzas, any toppings, dine-in or take-out, or buy one, get one free. Which is an excellent mm -hmm. deal. And that's something where we wanted to, uh, a family to be able to come in, eat a meal, mm -hmm. and then grab dinner for half price for free, yeah. take it home. And like I said earlier, you know, I want people to have a nice, good dining experience and it not cost them, right. you know, too much money. Yeah. Well, we appreciate that. Yes. <laughs> now, Copper Pot, located in downtown Clarksville. You guys are on Facebook? Yes, Facebook and Instagram, uh, the Copper Pot Restaurant. Okay. Uh, we post all of our weekly uh, specials on there. Uh, we try to do as much food photography as we can and the cocktails. Uh, we'll keep you up to date on any uh, happenings, special events that we're doing. Okay. Um, so yeah, you can check us out on uh, Facebook or Instagram. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for letting us come. And, and on behalf of the chamber, we appreciate you guys being a member. Oh, We're so you. proud to have you guys in this community. And we will be right back.